Master, can I see you for a minute while the boys are tuning up? Oh, see here. We'll do the broadcast this week's Cowboy Church Sermonette any minute now. And I'm trying to work up an anointing. Hmm, smells like mashed whiskey to me. A mere flavor ingredient in Bishop M.T. Tallywacker's Miracle Spring Oil. He bottles it himself over at Falls and Grace Cathedral, you know. Yeah, well, Orphan the Sound Man has a favor he'd like to ask. Hmm, after that fiasco last time, where we done put it in on my sermon to sing the benediction early while he was loaded so he could have punch and cookies for munchies during after service and social hour. Hmm. He got a whole lot of nerve asking me for anything. Well, if he was dying of thirst right now, I wouldn't give him the sweat off my... Hey, I ain't even trying to purge that image from my memory. It is now indelibly burned into my few remaining brain cells. Oh, to what image do you think you all of the fervent? Oh, horrible kissing your ass. Happy as two pokes and a pig. Pardon my dyslexia. <laughs> Not likely. I wouldn't let that little lick spittle anywhere near my sanctum sanctimonious after that last nut. Imagine, cremating the remains of that stumbleweed Sister Lorraine thought was a tumbleweed family that she hit on the freeway, and then presuming to crash in on my important sermon, whatever it was, because he had the munchies. Well, he says that debut done launched his singing career. He's moonlighting now down at the Y'all Fall Down Saloon, and he's done booked a gig at the Love Rush Snakeside Lizard Lounge right next to Sister Lorraine's dance studio. Anyway, what was got a song he'd like to perform during our Cowboy Church opening here in a few minutes? I think he's trying to make up for last week. And to tell you the truth, we're having a little trouble talking myself into singing with me after I went and gobbled down the laugh of the Twinkies they customarily have for breakfast. Well, if I say yes, we'll manage the sound system. Yoo-hoo! Pastor, I'm here! Well, well, well. That isn't mismanagement. The bouncing boobadoo beauty pageant queen. Hmm. Sorry I'm late. Had an overnighter. I wouldn't take the hint that it was time to leave. Till I think to death. Hmm, that must have been tricky. What were you trying to read comic books and chewing gum at the same time? Well, some misanthropic misogynist do go in for that sort of thing, like he did. But then and grabbed his chest when I suddenly leapt out of bed to answer the doorbell. He done went sound asleep immediately after that. Anyway, I grabbed my bathroom and went downstairs. Oh? Who's at the door? These two gaping missionary boys on bicycles asking me if I found the Lord yet. I asked them if they'd done mislead him somewhere. Them moronics or macaronious, or whatever they call themselves, think he evangelized the American Indians as an afterthought, you know. Oh yeah, the Forgotten Tribes. What was they gaping at? Well, given the fact that my bathroom done come undone, I was probably gaping with it. A top. Hmm, thanks for the clarification, sister. What did they say to your question about them losing their salvation? Funny, they started talking about the latter day. Must have been house painters or carpenters or something. I know there's Arbor Day, celebrating lumber, and St. Patrick's Day, celebrating getting hammered, even St. Valentine's Day, celebrating uh, getting nailed. But I never knew anybody celebrated climbing a ladder. When I told them that I was going to be late for cowboy church, they said they was late too, and just pedaled away to pedal it somewhere else, I guess. Well, sit down over here if you're going to manage the sound room. Actually, I think I'd rather stand. Look, yeah, Hanel knows about how that goes. Hanel, who's that, Oral? Oh, Hanel and Oral are my twin brothers. Well, if y'all wouldn't mind, except you, of course, Sister Lorraine, what we can permanently cross eyes and all. Focus. Father doing business, Pastor. Speaking of getting down to which, you boys ready? Five, four, um, two, <coughs> three. Sister Lorraine. You must be a riot with the cops at sobriety checkpoints. Now, Pastor, you know I'm never tight. No comment. Let's just get a move on. Okay. K-R-A-P! You know, Sister Lorraine, dyslexia is a terrible gift to waste. Why don't you go to the ladies' room and put some powder up your nose, or better yet, go fiddle with that mouse trap on the desk over by Orville's computer, see if you can bring up a little scream. Ow! Hello out there in Radio Land, brethren and sisters. This is Pastor Billy Bob Sunday Punch and the incessant wranglers at Cowboy Church of the Wandering Wayfarer or something like that. Come to you live at KPRA. Why? Hmm. Sometimes it's 
stop and ask myself the same question about how come I even bother. But it's because of you <coughs> faithful gift givers for the godless. Now here's a fellow that needs no introduction. Do a toothbrush because he don't have no But I'll teeth. let him introduce himself anyway. Howdy, folks. I'm Orville Roberts, the sound man. And these here are my two brothers. Good God, Everlasting and the Ever Ready Bunny. There's three of them. Hey, I know them too. Yep, this one's Oral, and y'all probably know him from the Tower of Tulsa. He said he'd die if he didn't send a contribution, but he's okay. And his twin brother, Anal, they're kind of inseparable. Really? Why? Siamese twins or something? No, only when they're feeling romantic. Then Mama would always use the hose on them. Say hello, boys. Howdy, y'all. Yeah, Glad, Glad to be here. Hmm, they always talk in tandem like that? Well, sometimes Anal has to do all the talking. Mama taught Oral never to speak with his mouth full. So where do you fit into this menage a trois, Orville? Oh, here and there. Wherever I can squeeze in, we are all breastfeeders as babies. That's kind of runs there, I guess. Sort of an afterthought to my folks, you might say. How so? Well, I suspect because Daddy got in too big a hurry one night, but Mama was always losing track of me whenever we went anywhere, like going for hikes in the woods. But I always carried a pack of saltine crackers to crumble on the path so I'd find my way home. Didn't the birds eat them? Yeah, sometimes. That's actually how I wandered in the cowboy church at the Westwood Wind. See, it ain't just me. Okay, the wayward wind. Anyway, I had to use the restroom something fierce. <clears throat> I remember why you showed up. And when you showed up, there was a general out pulling in the haven of rest. Had to get a toilet plunger and a mop, as I recall. Anyway, what do you boys have for us today? Well, we done pawn the trio. trio. Just two of us. Me, myself, and I, Gospel Lair, being our holy brother of Marlon and all. Hmm, sounds good. Speaking of which, quit fiddling with all those gadgets over there, Lorraine. I can't hear myself. Oh, don't worry. I'm missing nothing. Hey, wait a minute. Okay, I guess it's up to me to play referee. All together now. A one and a two. Sister Lorraine, give me your answer, do. Hmm, that ain't how bad. We're half crazy, hopeful in love with you. Oh, that's beautiful. It won't be a stylish marriage. We can't afford a carriage, but we'll adore you all the more on a bicycle bill for four. Well, Hovo, four? Oh, that's right. Twins run in your family, don't they? <clears throat> don't you go gushing all over yourself about this. He ain't talking about infants, you know. Well, what could he be referring to, Pastor? Hot rumpf. What he has in mind shouldn't come as any big surprise to someone in your profession, but you ain't no macaroniist. And these boys ain't nothing but a bunch of polygamizing polygamizers on a wobbly the bicycle built for four. You know, folks, that's a perfect image of our relationship with the Lord. We may be thinking we're pedaling along all by ourselves, but he's always right behind us. Like a backseat driver? Well, he do let us handle the handlebars to steer with, but he's the one that's on the brakes when it's needed. Of course, some of our brakes don't give out, sister. Well, my favorite part of something like that would be ringing the bell. Hmm, I would have thought it would be honking the horn. Hey, Pastor, remember us? We got another song. song. Good, it's about time somebody interrupted this crazy woman. Well, this is dedicated to her. Roll out those lazy, hazy, crazy homegrown cities. Those days of cheap red wine, tequila, shots, and beer. Roll out those lazy, hazy, crazy zigzag paper. Take a token till you choke and hand it here. Just fill your basket full of sammies and weenies Then mark the house up, now you're set Then on the beach we'll see Lorraine in her bikini And gaze adoringly when it gets wet Roll out those lazy, hazy, crazy homegrown seas those days of cheap red wine, tequila, shots, and beer. Pull out those lazy, hazy, crazy zigzag papers. 
Take a token till you choke and hand it here Roll out those sleeping bags, zip them all together We'll have a slumber party and some pillow talk Roll out those dollar bills that help us all get lucky And Moran will gladly brothers tuck us in don't have to ask Lorraine to kiss us at the drive-in She always does so during them romantic scenes Right from the moment that the crying they start bawling See more of it in the car than on the screen Roll out those little pills that make a guy stand taller then some night if I'm weeping on the beach When somebody builder flexes his big muscle Well he can pound sand just as deep as it will reach So if you're looking for a long ding-dong message They get stretched about as far as it'll reach That means you gotta come on out here to Cowboy Church And hear the pastor preach which leads us to a very important question, Sister Lorraine. My brothers asked me to ask you, would you, would you marry, marry us? us? Why, I don't know what to say. Well, I'll tell you what you're going to say. We ain't into no polygamy around here, and this multiple marriage stuff is unseemly and unscriptural. You mean like Solomon? Now, see here. Pastor, he was going to pay you three times the customary fee. Uh, 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 hmm. Three times 25 is... Say, Pastor, this is what's known in radio jargon as dead space. Well, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Well, don't hurt yourself with any heavy lifting. You might get a hernia in your cranium. Now, what in tall nation do Ukrainians have to do with this? Ukrainians? Are they from Ukraine? Or are they a religious sect like utilitarians? Well, actually, there's a whole bunch of them in the prairie provinces. I, I bought a bull from a Ukrainian up in Edmonton, Alberta. That bull had some gastric problems, so I had the large animal vet come out to the ranch. One whip, and he said, this bull is from the Ukraine. And I said, wait a minute. One whip of that stench, and you knew this bull was from the Ukraine? How'd you know that? You know what he said? He said, I'd know that stench anywhere. After all, my wife's from the Ukraine.